This one's going to be on S tag is a anchors interface to um, edit your audio tags. So it supports MP3s, AUGs, and what's that, FLAC? Uh, so how to use this, make sure you install S tag. Not sure is it in your repositories or not, but it should be in the AUR if you're on the R stuff. Um, so one way to do this is if you hit uh, S tag, and if you want to go to directly to the path, you can go, um, you know, your path directory. So we do a super double drag in here. And as far as the interface, uh, so over here on your left side here, this is your directory mode. So you see this is directory mode. Now if you hit tab, tab is to go between the different modes. Um, so if you hit tab, you go over here on your right side and this is your file mode. So you can see all my MP3s here, right? Uh, that we're gonna edit. Now the bottom here, if you hit like uh, enter, the bottom here, this is your info mode, right? And they tell you like the tracks and the names, stuff like that. And if you want to edit one of these fields, so let's say you want to edit the tracks, you hit enter. Now you're in edit mode. And when you're in edit mode, you can actually edit. So you can type in stuff, you know, uh, and it'll show up at the bottom here, right? So let's quit out of this though. Let's quit, let's get uh, Q. Uh, so that's one way to go to a, uh, you know, a path directly. But let's say if you just want to use a, uh, the command s tag only now in here this is like a browsing mode so you can browse your directory first so let's say we go back to that uh, folder so you go to temp here you hit enter you go into uh, super double dragon now by default it doesn't actually uh, load the files automatically so you can see that my uh, what is it my right side here is empty right uh, and that's because it doesn't load automatically like I said and then all you do is hit space, hit space, and it'll actually show up now. See that? So now you have, uh, you can use tab again to so go um, between the modes. And over here on uh, your um, right side, this is your file mode that we have our files now. So, uh, how do we edit these suckers? Okay. So all you do is pick the file that you want. Let's say we do a single files first, and then we're going to do bulk later on. So, for example, our first file here, uh, I should just go with the, the ending theme here, mp3s here, okay. So we go on this file, we highlighted it, and we hit enter, and let's say we want the tracks to be, I don't know, uh, 02, right, or, oh, just put 2, you don't have to put 02. And the title, uh, let's change that, hit enter, and what's that, let's delete, and can we use backspace? Now sometimes uh, if you can't use backspace, you hit uh, Control H, so it's Emacs style to delete the what was that the characters Control H, and you can call this whatever you want. Let's say uh, what do we want to call this ending theme. Okay, we'll call it um, YouTube song. If I spell YouTube right. Right, uh, there you go, YouTube song, Artist, by me. Yay. If I spell my own name, right. There you go, the album. I don't know. Linux, Tux, there you go. Right, so after you edit the changes and everything, let's say put the year in here too, year. Uh, all you gotta do is hit tab, and once you hit tab, you see that it has these little um, stars next to this. That means uh, this file has been modified. However, it has not been changed yet, so you actually have to save it too. So this one just indicates that it's been modified, but you still have to go manually change it yourself. So we hit tab here again. We we'll go back to our file mode, right? Our file mode here. Uh, and in our file mode, you can see when you go hit up and down on different uh, files, all the other ones doesn't have the little star, but once you get on this one, it has the star next to it. That means this file has not been saved yet. So to save on that file that we're on, we hit S, and that saves it. Uh, and basically, that's how you would do it for one. Let's say you do it for, um, uh, what was that? Let's say two, 
of them. Let's say the bottom here. Let's say this one, this forest, and this slums one here, right? We are gonna edit these suckers again. Uh, let's just change the um, let's change the title. How about that? We'll call this one uh, green. All right, and the other one. Let's push tab here. Tab again, and this one. Uh, the slums one here. We'll delete this. We'll call this one blue. All right. And you can see when you hit tab, uh, tab again, only these twos have the stars. All these other ones don't have any stars. So if you want to apply changes to all of them, you hit A. And you see it selects all the file. And you hit W. And there you go. That's it. Now you hit U to unselect everything. And all these uh, files are here has been changed now. So now it has the blue and green uh, name on the title, but it um, doesn't have the stars anymore. So it's been applied to changes. So that's how you do it for either a single file or multiple single files uh, when you, cha uh, you save the changes. Now let's do it for bulk because, um, you know, let's say you have an album that has the same artist in all of them. Obviously, you don't want to go on, on each one of them and uh, rename the artist manually all over again and again, right? So, what we're going to do, let's say, for example, you see how this one has, like, my name here, and this one has some other guy's name and another guy's name, whatever, right? The different artists. Uh, I see, like, different artists here. Uh, so, let's say if it's the same album, it's always going to be the same artist, so you don't have to waste time you know renaming each file again so to do this all you do is hit a to select all of them on our, our current folder here and you hit enter and now you hit uh, tab until you see a blank so you hit tab multiple times and now when it's blank like this that means whatever you change in here will stick so let's say the artist will change it to my name here right and let's see the genre uh, We'll call this one open source. All right, and that's it. Let's say we say we just do those two fields only, and then hit tab. Now you see all of them has been changed here. So even if you go to multiples here, all of them will have the same two fields uh, filled out. And now since everything is selected already, um, you can just hit the W, and it'll save all the changes. And then hit U to unselect everything. And you see whenever you go into different files now, the two fields that is always constant is the uh, artist name and the genre, which is open source here. So any other files in here, they always have those two fields regardless of what you do, right? So that's how you do bulk uh, retagging the, the files. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the program, really. You can check it out, like, let's say, for example, if I use my, uh, what is that? Temp here, uh, double dragon, and you can use like a program like Ranger, and you'll see that it has the names here. Let me go make it full screen here. Uh, so you see in the side here, it shows up my uh, what is that? Uh, this is performer, whatever, right? And then the genre is open source, and so on and so forth for different files here. They always have my uh. It was at my performer name and my genre is open source. So that's how you can look at the changes uh, for the tags if you want. Or like open up your um, MP3 uh, player, and then they'll show you those tags too. But uh, that's how you use S tag um, from the command line to change your uh, songs. I only recommend this if you're doing like a, maybe a couple of, of uh, you know MP3 songs or it's very obscure. If you're using like a uh, or you're listening to a album that's a popular album, obviously there's better ways to do it. You can have like this automatic way to uh, pull the data and all that. Uh, this one I only recommend it if you know you're gonna use it manually, okay? Uh, and it's for like songs that probably no one has ever heard of, like like this song right here, Super Double Dragon. This is from a Super Nintendo. There's no, uh, you know soundtrack for this or anything so you have to actually manually enter it and all that so anyways that's it for uh this program uh not that hard to use um go and try it out if you want that'd be it for this one